I don't know you today, yo. I bet your birthday is the end. We are here talking about weight with, with Drew Gaylings, who plays Dr. Pamela. Um, so how are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you. Um, what were your beginning roles? Ooh, that's a good question. My first role that I ever played uh, as like a fourth grader was the little boy in the Velveteen Rabbit, and I've pretty much been chasing that ever since. No, um, uh, honestly, uh, the first thing I ever did professionally was I worked at the Paper Mill Playhouse, which is over in New Jersey, and I did a production of Hello, Dolly with um, Tova Feldshu. And it was choreographed by um, Mia Michaels, who uh, yeah. just did uh, Finding Neverland and the Radio City Spectacular yeah. just now. Uh. Yeah. Oh, can you tell us about your role in Anna Green Gables? Yes. Oh, and, I'm so um, glad you asked about that. And your other off. Of course, yeah. Um, Anne of Green Gables was one of the first roles and one of the first shows that I got to do here in New York City. Um, it was written by this great team that wrote this musical called I'm Getting My Act Together and Taking It on the Road, Gretchen Cryer and Nancy Ford. And um, we did that off-Broadway at the Lucille Lortel Theater in 2007. And I was really lucky to get that to... That's a nice theater. That's a great theater. I, I, I saw my boys with Eric uh, uh, McCormick Yeah. There. And other famous people, like Sven Director was in it. Oh, yeah. You know, from the nanny. Yeah. And a lot of envy. You know, people from Scrubs. Mm hmm. From, from Scrubs and from. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, I'd love Fran Drescher. Yeah. I, I saw her in, in Cinderella and I just thought yeah. she was fantastic. <laughs> oh, good. No, we don't her in my voice. Oh, nice. Did you see Cinderella? Uh, nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Please, not at all. This, it's, it's, it's exciting. That theater backstage, while it's a very intimate space to watch something, is actually super tiny. But I also was lucky enough to get to do a play up at Lincoln Center uh, called A Minister's Wife yeah. in the basement of uh, the, uh, I guess it would have been the Mitzi Newhouse Theater downstairs. We were just there. Yeah. Oh, you were just there? Yeah. What did you all get to Literally. see? Mama hot up a cold. Oh yeah, is it is it good? It closed. It was a limited run. Uh huh. But my friend Tammy yeah. Yeah, was in it. Oh, she's fantastic. So, um so I went to go the fort. <laughs> mm-hmm. So. The, the runs there are like just a couple of months, which actually yeah, keeps it I nice and fresh. Yeah, I love the Vivian Beaumont. I do too. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I feel like yeah, everything I've seen I, there has just been wonderful. Yeah. I love going to that theater. I saw King and I. Wasn't it great? Oh, Kelly. You saw Kelly in it. Yeah. Oh, well, oh. if you're seeing something to Vivian Beaumont, yeah. you're probably seeing Kelly over there. Yeah. Kelly is my BFF. Oh, she's your BFF? I love it. I love it. I love it. She's just a lovely. Kelly is my BFF. Oh, I love that. We talk every day. <laughs> and I'm wearing a Tony pin. Oh, you're wearing her Tony pin. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, she gave it to you. That's great. Yeah. Well, um... Oh, oh, you were in Jersey Boys for um five years. How did you um keep it fresh new? I I think you could do it for a year, finding little new things to do. But five 
<laughs> How did you do that? That's a really good question. I think it's um the the best part about doing a show for a really long run is that you get to work with different people constantly. And yeah. because everyone usually just sits there for about a year, yeah. you, there's always some kind of change that happens. And that, like, it's the little changes, especially in a show like that that has been running for so long that yeah, makes you... you you got to do it with Jared. Yeah, I did. Like the He's been my favorite. Yeah. was in beautiful. That's true. I got something really cool to show you. It's the original clip the Jersey Boys. Oh, my God. Autographed by all the writers. No way. Do you have it? Oh, this Oh sure, I'm in. I'm in. Let's that see it. Let's see it. it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Are you kid look at this. It's the script. <laughs> Are you joking me? This is signed by everyone who ever was the I guess the this is the original cast, right? Yep. Oh my gosh. I mean, you want it, I mean. This is for Jesse. We love you in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's you fantastic. want it, I mean, you're good. I w I'd be oh, I'd be honored to. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Absolutely, absolutely. I love doing Jersey Boys. This show was really my. It was my first Broadway yeah. show, and it was the the first time that I ever got to be on a Broadway stage. Yeah, and it was we so love exciting. it. Yeah, we love it. I I want to go back. I I would go back with you. I think it's fantastic. I only only if we went the oath. They go see it for mom, but that I was the five. I the five uh, with tickets when the first opened. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight years ago, and we there was a blizzard, <laughs> and we couldn't get in, <laughs> and we really wanted to see it. Oh, of course. So it's it's no small trek. Oh, yeah, to go in in a blizzard was crazy. Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we had to we buy our tickets, and we gave the own tickets to my sis, the the youth, a few months ago, and they were the last thing up of the theater <laughs> because they couldn't believe they were from the first year. And they honored they honored them I would assume. Yeah, we had kept calling when sometimes when you know there's a problem yeah. with a blizzard or something you can't get in, they say that you can use the tickets at another time. Mm -hmm. But they don't let you pre book it. You have to call that morning and if it's available that evening and you can go, okay. But, you know, we live so far that that's not possible. Yeah, you can't us. just call day so of. We kept calling and calling, we can never use them. So we finally said, oh, we'll just buy new tickets. So my daughter moved into the city. And oh, that's exciting. And said, here. Take these, take just these show tickets. up. Yeah. Just show up one and day and see if they let you in. Even living in the city, in snowstorms, the rain, she would call and she couldn't get in. Finally, finally, one day she called, I think it was a Tuesday, and they said, yes, you can come tonight. <laughs> so when she got there with the tickets, they couldn't believe they were like six years old. Yeah, so they, they were all discolored. and. Of the box I and bet. That's too old. funny. That's too funny. Well, that's a great gift. <laughs> Clearly, it's the gift that keeps yeah. on giving. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I I love I love doing this show. The oh, it's really been cool doing waitress because um, I haven't seen an audience react to a show, yeah. in oh, like yeah. like people react to to waitress yeah. in the same way that in people would react way? to Jersey Boys. People go nuts. It's great. Yeah. Is that harder than uh, doing Jersey Boys? Is it is it harder or easier than? You did a clear day with Jesse, mm -hmm. and you're working with her now. Mm -hmm. Is it easier to get your chemistry back or harder because Kelly Harris told me she did two plays with Matt Morrison, mm -hmm. where I also know, and 
it was like singing your best friend mm-hmm. that you ever seen for a long time. Mm-hmm. I would. S- that's a good question. I think um, being able to to relate to Jesse is something that came so naturally, especially in Waitress, because that we we had known each other before. Now, what's funny about Clear Day is that we never actually were on stage together, technically mm-hmm. speaking. I um I played the boyfriend of her <laughs> next incarnation. Mm-hmm. So in like a weird way, we were on stage together, but never really were. And it's mm-hmm. funny because Harry Connick Jr. came and mm-hmm. saw Waitress two nights ago. Mm-hmm. And we have this line in the play where I, we say like another lifetime. And we both just kind of looked at each other. And we knew that Harry was there. And we were like, what is, what, where are we? What, what has transpired in such a way that we've like come full circle and now we're working yeah. together again? I love her to pieces and she's, is such a supportive co-star and yeah. is such a classy lady. I can't lady. wait to meet her. Oh I, yeah. I'm hoping it comes out. And I, oh goodbye. yeah. Oh yeah. Are you all coming to the show this evening? Yeah. You're coming tonight? And today is my birthday. And it's your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. I had no idea. I would have brought you something. I would have brought you, we, we could have had like a snack, a little cake. You're telling me we have to buy pie? You gotta buy pie. Oh, you will buy pie. There will be pie. It's so delicious. It's so delicious. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. If that was the madness, was a vacation celebrity. Hmm. Who do you think she would be a vacation celebrity for? She was a vacation celebrity? Jesse Cayella Wood. Ooh, that's a really good question. You know what a vacation yeah, celebrity Yeah, I do, I do, is. I do. Like, like, um, if a celebrity leave, and they get somebody from TV or music to step in for eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Who do you think he would fill in for? Who? I mean, I guess I would have to say selfishly, I would kind of hope that it was Jesse. Because <laughs> then I'd get to do the show with Sarah, which would be so much fun. I can't, I, I, it would be really great. But what's wild is that I think she really could be anybody. She yeah. could step in for anybody. But selfishly, I'd want her to be Jesse. Thinking, why woman topic of the Cajun celebrities? Mm-hmm. Uh, next week, you're getting Jenna Uskowitz. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, Glee. Uh, can you give us a little information about that, or you're not about to say anything. No, no, I can totally talk about that. Um, she uh, just joined our company this week. I think she's her there now. No, she's she's there now, learning the show. Um, oh. So she she's been rehearsing every day, and I think her first performance is going to be at the end of next week. I'm, but I'm not, I'm not. I'm not sure about what the specific day is yet. I don't think that's been announced, and I don't think even we know. But, I, but I've met her. She's been at the theater, and she seems like she's going to be a great fit for about, um, I think she's slated to be there for a month or two to kind of uh, step in while Kamiko shoots her show. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so it's, it's always nice to get new blood, and yeah. especially when in a show that's... Yeah. Um, where everyone yeah. is such a tight unit group backstage. Yeah. Do you have um, any dressing room rituals that you must do before you go on stage? I do. Like, uh, like I do a couple lip quivers. Yeah. Right before. Right before you work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's classic. I, I I feel like what do what do I do? What do I do? A couple of things that I always like to do is um I get dressed at places no matter what time I go on, and if I can I go and watch the beginning of the show. I go out to the back 
and then I watch the beginning of the show, and then I go up to my dressing room, and I finish warming up to, to begin. Yeah. It's always it's always exciting because then I can I can get a feel for what the audience is yeah, like. I um, I um, I that theater, and I I'm the director, the producer, choreographer, costume designer, lady, and I also play the lead. <laughs> yeah. I I am most happy. When I am, I'm um, head mic on. They give me a head mic in the stage, and I'm a happy camper. <laughs> that sounds like a sounds like pretty much all I need to <laughs> strap a mic on me and off we go, right? <laughs> That's so great. Did Did Nathan Fillion give you any advice? About Dr. Palmetto? Yeah, he did. I met Nathan when uh, we did the show in Cambridge last summer. And he had, he was a huge fan of the show, which we were, I was really nervous about because I'm a huge fan of his. And all, Castle. Yeah, Castle. Mommy loves Castle. Mom loves Castle. Yeah. Mom loves Castle. <laughs> and there's only one more season of it. I think, I think they're almost done. Um, and, uh, but I was a big fan of Firefly and of all of the stuff that he's done over the course of his career. He's great. Um, he was a huge fan of the show and was really, really polite. And I, all of my questions were were essentially about what, how, sh you know, wh how, why is this guy in this town? So without giving too much away, since you're seeing the show tonight, okay. I, I will tell you that the origin of his name, the name Pometer, is okay. actually because Adrian Shelley was a huge Yankees fan. And so it's a combination of three names. <laughs> Jorge Posada, Don Mattingly, and Derek Jeter. Palm Edder. <laughs> so we were like, we were like, so this is the most ridiculous <laughs> name. And I remember like really, it was a real nail biter when I, when I had to go in and audition because I didn't want to say the name wrong. Because it's like one of my first lines is, hi, I'm Dr. Palm Edder. And I didn't want to say it wrong. Because if you'd like start off by mispronouncing your own name, it's not, it's not going well. It's not going well. So that helped. How did the mold change from, you know, both uh, the now? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. Um, what did they take out? What did they leave? Mm -hmm. What did they change? When you when you take a show in from out of town, the biggest the biggest thing that you that they try to do is to deepen characters, right? They try to make everybody seem more three dimensional and more well rounded and whatnot. And so for for Dr. Pometer, the changes weren't incredibly seismic, but we tried to add a little bit of depth to explain what it was that was lacking in his life that made him want to be around Jenna. So nothing too major. Like I didn't get any songs cut or get any new like new massive dance breaks or anything <laughs> like that. Not that I wouldn't have been able to handle those things, but uh, uh, I we luckily were able to we were able to kind of um, keep pretty much most of that stuff the same. However, the girls a lot of that stuff changed. A lot of the order changed, and we got new songs and new scenes I constantly. I love Kayla. She's oh my the, God! I know she's the my, best. My other best friend is directing her. Fran, that's right. Uh, yeah. Fran's oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Fran's Fran's I lovely. I love Fran. Oh, she'll be so happy to see you. You have to come say hi when you see her. on vacation. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She's out of town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get working uh, in the van on the way in. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, where do they keep the oven for the pie in the lobby? Oh, that's a good question. You're, you're going you're gonna to be sniffing it out when you get there tonight. I know. Um, <laughs> it's right in the back of the theater. So when you walk in to like give them your tickets and whatnot yeah. and get seated and stuff, it's in the very back of the theater. Yeah. On the, on the house left side. It looks like a big secret black box tucked away in the corner, but it has this giant easy bake oven in it. Yeah. 
that they have this huge pie in every night that they don't even sell. They don't even sell it. You know, it just it just sits there for smell, for smell only. And it's a fresh pie every day. So I think the house manager takes it home. I've had a bite of it before. It's pretty good. Oh, you in one thing you have to eat pie. Um, how hard is it with eating the shape of the cestus? So, <laughs> you know, a technical is not the shape of a spoon <laughs> or a fork. I know. So how do you technically... How do I yeah. scoop? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's kind of tough, and sometimes it fails. I feel like it's, there's been a couple times when, you, when you, it's like like trying to get a big dollop of something with a spatula, and it ju- it'll just fall off the side of the pie onto my shoe or something like that. Yeah. Um, that's But it's become a real art form, trying to get that dollop of pie on that stethoscope. Yeah. To the dismay of the audience, especially <laughs> the doctors that are like, don't do that. That's gross. <laughs> <gasps> oh, your wife yeah. is in cat. Yeah. Playing, um, I think they, they started previews last week, and they open the 31st of, uh, of July. Are you taking that show off? I'm not going to take that show off, but um, I am, we, have a th- we have a three-year-old daughter, so mm-hmm. I think it's going to be her first Broadway show. We might yeah. take her to see what cats. She's Jelly Lorem, who sings yeah. um, Gus the Theater Cat. I don't know the show. I've never seen the show. Can you believe it? And I, I think we yeah. have the same schedule for most of it. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to see it until a little bit later in their run. Yeah. But I'm excited about it. Yeah. Another buddy of ours that uh, went to college with us, Tyler Haynes, is uh, Rum Tum Tugger. In it. I know I want his blog. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because he did the, the Bringing Cats Back to Broadway blog. Yeah. What's New Pussycat, I believe it was yeah, called. Yeah. He was very proud of the title. And um, I'm there with, uh, with those, they were so born in tech that they were FaceTiming from dressing room to dressing room, and they were across the hall. And he was talking to Sarah mm-hmm. in the, uh, the dressing room. Ugh, classic. The hall. Yeah. There, I, luckily, they've, we've all known each other for 15 years now. We, Tyler and Sarah and I were all in the same class at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And uh, so for the two of them to get to do a Broadway show together is very, very exciting for the both of them. Yeah. Have you ever done a show with your wife? Have you ever? Never. Never. Well, Not since school. Well, what would be the show you would want to do with your wife? Um, it would depend. I, I think it's like... I don't know. We always had such a hard rule. We were like, we're not going to work together. We're not going to work together. Yeah, we're um, not going to work together. Because, like, home was home and yeah. work was work. If we were to do something together, we had always thought that, like, um, ooh, something like something that, some, like a Sondheim show would be something that we'd love to do together. Yeah, we had yeah. done, um, we did Assassins together when we were in school, which was yeah. a jolly amount of yeah. fun. And we also did Candide. Yeah. Ellie doesn't want to work with Greg. <laughs> they decided that they weren't going to work together. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty I, wise. I asked her the same question that I asked you, mm-hmm. and she said, we decided not to. <laughs> um, if Sarah went over the way with what would be her role? If she came over to Waitress, I would think Sarah would be a Dawn. She would be a Dawn, yeah. for sure. 
I think we're in from Facebook. Oh, yeah. We're, do we have any, any questions from, from the Facebook world out there? Let's see. No one's coming through yet. Perfect. <laughs> we have, it'll, they'll, they'll all creep we'll up in, in, in the end. That'll be good. Yeah. We are we are a wealth of, of experience and knowledge between the two of us. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're not so we're not jumping all over the place. I'm, I thought we would next week for mm -hmm. anything goes. Oh yeah. I'm playing moon face. You are? Yeah. Oh that'll and be great. the young gray wall and I can't wait. No question with. with no question or. Oh, I, I, I did one. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm actually really excited to hear how you like the show tonight. Yeah. This, I'm so I thank you so much for having me and interviewing yeah. me. I feel so I feel so like like such a big shot. Yeah, I'm the and the band in my fifteenth and the birth of fifteenth interview. Yeah, and the birth of me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we had a big live show from the West Lake Golf and Country Club. Mm -hmm. And we had Caroline Ray and the live audience and giveaways. Oh, I love that. Caroline Ray came and saw the show, um, I, I think, the week that we opened. And I was completely starstruck by her. Yeah. She's a very, very nice person. Very, Caroline Ray. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we are very close. Yeah. yeah. He knows a lot of people. Uh, well, th thank you so much for being. I know you're such a you're such a maven, and I thank you so much for being such an, a, a a marvelous activist and a and such a great spokesman for for our community and 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 getting people excited about this. I can't wait. I can't wait to have you there. It's so exciting that you're coming tonight. Uh, are you gonna come out? Of course, I'm gonna come out. Absolutely. So we'll have to have you come. We'll have to have you come back. So we'll we'll have you stay in the theater. So we'll come out and we can all hang out and say hi afterwards. Any okay. pie? <laughs> I know. It's the best part about it. We get to eat. It's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like our trademark. We um is. I can't wait to make. Oh, that'll be marvelous. I hope they come out. They will. They'll, co they'll come it's down because, nice. yeah, it'll be nice to see everybody. Yep. No, not at all. Bye. All right, thank you so much for oh, having me. And, and you